What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to, uh, what was it called, uh, yeah, we managed to go through the, the Pokemon Mansion, caught ourselves two Pichus, female and female. Hell, two episodes ago, we managed to get ourselves, uh, what was it called, a Pokemon Medicine, so that's the reason why we're going up here, because in doing this... We could give the secret potion to these Psyducks, and next thing you know it, their chronic headaches are going to be going away. Look at this. And, yeah, they're going to be moving around. So this is this is pretty huge for us just because, well, shoot. Yeah, and, well, hello, hello there. Mm, 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 mm. Cynthia's like, oh, good, you used the secret potion I gave you. Psyducks are known to suffer from chronic headaches, but no one's been able to figure out what triggers the headaches. Oh, yes. Can I ask you a big favor? It's whatever you wanted, baby. I want you to deliver this old charm to my grandma in Celestic Town. I know there are some rare Pokemon between here and Celestic Town, so it will be worth a while, your while to go. Sure. I will do anything for you. Mm, 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 mm. Anywho, my grandma has this, this sort of bossy atmosphere about her. I think you'll recognize her right away. Yes, I'm sure you will. She's the elder in Celestic Town. And the location, look in your town map. You can't miss it. Okay, I'm counting on you. See you again down the road. So, check this out, guys. We did switch out a Pokemon on our team because, well, going going straight into this whole section right here, you're going to be needing Defog, and, uh, wow, it is, it is such a pain. It is such a pain to have defog, or to have foggy conditions in general, because... Holy buckets, yeah. And, yes, yeah, so you're gonna be battling some trainers right here, so... The goal is still to try and uh, evolve our good old buddy Poseidon. We probably should have done it early on, but, you know, you know me. I like to uh, prolong stuff out of dramatics and whatnot. So, let's go with the dig attack. And there we go, and Toxic Spikes are doing some stuff right here, so we can't do much. Gaia grows to level 32, and just like that, we win. And, well, now that Gaia has actually, or yeah, now that now, now that Gaia has uh, reached the level it was supposed to reach, let's go ahead and take that experience share, and let's not do that. Let's go right ahead and go all the way back down, give this to Poseidon, that way it can actually <laughs> gain more levels right here. Now, there are some open spots right here where you will be actually battling some tra trainers, the ninja trio to be specific, and there we go. Krogunk is coming again, and there it is. Ninja Boy has been defeated, so that's two out of the trio. And here we're going to be finding ourselves Hyper Potion. And what's going to happen next is go right here. And I'm one of the Ninja Trio. Being discovered means I must battle. But how did you discover me? Don't tell me you're a ninja too. Yes, I'm pretty much a ninja myself. And he's coming out, my mortal he's coming out with my mortal enemy, Stunky. And just like that... Poseidon grows to level 36. Yes, sir. Okay. So, after a long time coming, 16 episodes in all, we finally get Poseidon to evolve into its final stage. And that happens to be, let's see, uh, yeah, what was it called? Uh, Triton Pokemon? Triton Mon or something like that? I don't even know, guys. I forget so many names. But here it is, guys. We get ourselves Empoleon. This Pokemon, albeit being a little slow, it's still... You know, it's still something right there. So, it's learning Aqua Jet. And, yes, we're going to be learning this move because, holy buckets. Okay, it may be 40 HP, but it is basically the quick attack for Water-type Pokemon. And, well, let's go ahead and take away Brian because, yeah. So, check this out, guys. Now that we got Empoleon on the team, it gains an extra typing. It is both Water and Steel, meaning... Yes, it's uh, its defense has gone up just a little bit more. Special attack is right there. Speed's not that great, but guess what? Now we have three different kinds of stab moves that will actually help us out in the long run. So, let's go right ahead and continue our adventure right here with Gaia number two. If you guys remember, Gaia number two was the hero of, uh, you know, the, the gym battle, the fifth gym battle. Now, we're going to be going north. And, I, yeah, there is an item right here, so just keep an eye out for everything, guys. You'll be finding a lot of rare items. And some rare items you're going to be needing later on. So if you go north right here, it's going to start getting foggy. Now, if you guys think you guys can make it through this whole section in this fog, think again. You still have to battle trainers, and the accuracy is going to be bad for you, not the, tra not the opponents. So 
this is the reason why we brought in Starblade, just for this particular reason. So, yes. There we go. Defog. Now we can actually battle and destroy everybody right here. And if I could use the hidden move Defog, it would clear up the fog so I could see. How does Defog work? Don't bird and bug Pokemon flap their wings to blow the fog away? Yes, they do, and I just helped you out right there, my friend, so... Thank you, and well, let's go right ahead and continue battling people right here. And look at this. We are correcting a huge wrong, and that is that, yes, we are using Gaia 2 as a physical attacker, not a special attacker, because many of you guys were just getting on my case about that. Yes, I do know that. I, I do read the comment section, guys. So, let's go right ahead and just destroy. Destroy with this Pokemon, yes. Oh my god, it's much better as a physical attacker. I see what you guys mean, and well, we're going to be needing cut for this. And there could be an item right here. No, this is pretty much a shortcut. Now, what really irritates me too is that up north from here, there you could pretty much get yourself a what was it? A Dawnstone. The only problem is we do need we do need a uh, rock climb technique to get that. So again, I already know. Yes, guys, I got it all planned out. Anywho, as an ace trainer, I have to take battles in stride. I need to take to stay my cool and calm whether I win or lose. Okay, so let's go right ahead and continue with this battle. Brick break for the win. And here comes Grottle, so let's go right ahead and use Togepri right here. Now, Togepri has gotten way better just because of its special attack. And so, there we go. And here comes a Drafric. Let's go back to Toothless right here. So this team is literally becoming a freaking tank of a team. And, well, it's using Reflect, so let's go right ahead and use Dragon, Dragon Rage for the win. Alrighty, let's continue battling. Come on, follow me. Stop. Okay, stop moving. All right, let's go. And here we go, taking on two evolved Pokemon. And this is gonna be this is gonna be a crazy right here. So let's go right ahead and use Grass Nut for this guy. And yeah, we're gonna get. Oh wow, double teamed. Okay, I see where this is going. So let's go with Poseidon. Psycho Cut to Raichu, and let's go with the Metal Claw to this guy right here, and Thunderbolt is kicking our butt. Holy crud baskets! Okay, so that guy is done. Let's go with this guy right here, and let's go with Poseidon. Let's go with a Pluck Attack, and Twister Attack is kicking our asses. Okay, there we go, and damn it! Okay, and wow! We are getting our butts kicked. Let's go with Starblade, you know, for good old time's sake, and let's go straight for a Wing Attack. And that Ice Fang, it barely beats us, and Poseidon barely does it. Holy crud, Baskets. Okay, so, ha-ha! <laughs> yeah. Holy crud. We we received damage like nobody's business. Holy crud. Okay, so... Let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon. Holy buckets. Okay, thankfully we got quite a few revives and all that. And this is, this is the episode to just, like, mess up just like anybody else. So let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon. This is the reason why I do not like HMs anymore because, yeah. Who the heck needs Defog? I want to know. Oh my god. Okay, so here we go. And let's continue on. Let's go ahead and battle this guy. And see if he doesn't have a... Okay, well, he has this guy. So let's go with a Psycho Cut. That right there is going to mess us up. So let's go with a Pokemon that can defeat this guy right here. So there we go. Quick Attack. Fire Blast for the win. And, well, here comes Luxio, so let's go straight for Toothless right here. And we're going to go with a Dig Attack. And just like that, we beat Luxio. And here comes Probapass, so let's go with Poseidon. And this is a new one. Probapass, big and tanky, but does like to use Electric-type moves. And right now, we're getting our butts kicked. Holy crud, Baskets. Yeah, like, it took us five turns. You see, this would have taken 15 minutes at the most. God, I hate this game. Okay, so Moo Moo Milk... Give that to Gaia. Yeah, keep on forgetting that, you know, Gaia is also a fighting-type Pokemon, so it's not technically invincible. Oh, God. Let's see, where's my Paralysis Heal? That's my last one. So, yeah, we're going to be feeling it, guys. So let's go ahead and use a bike right here. And here we're going to be finding a individual, a ninja, and he's going to be coming out with a Mothem. So, again, we're not using this guy, so let's go with Togepri. And here comes a Confusion, Fire Blast. And that does it. Gotta love this. Okay, Poseidon grows level 38. Okay, so we're, 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 we're hitting some strides, and thankfully, now we have Bidoof for the Rock Smash and all that. So let's go ahead and grab this, and here we're gonna find 
the TM30 Shadow Ball, which can be used for, you know, you know, for coverage and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and move out of this way right here and battle some more trainers. Good gravy. Again, this would have been taking like 20 minutes, guys. 20, 15 to 20 minutes or more, but thankfully we got the speed button. I know some of you guys may not like it. Some of you guys do like it because we get to rush into just basically every single battle. This game in particular is very notorious for just being slow as hell, so yeah. We're going to use the speed button just in case because, you know, good old Draven likes to make mistakes here and there. And we're going to be grabbing a smoke ball, which can help us, uh, you know, it can help us uh, escape any kind of strong Pokemon right here. And here we're going to be taking on a bird trainer, so let's go right ahead and uh, go with Poseidon right here. And go with the Bubbly Beam and Aqua Jet for the win. Guy grows to level 33. Here comes Noctowl, so let's go with Toothless. And let's go with a Slash Attack right here. Slash Attack again. And just like that, we win. Alrighty. Let's see. Anybody else? Anybody else wants him? This guy does. So, let's go right ahead and take this guy on. And he's going to be coming out with a Tangela. So, let's go with this again. And an Ingrain is going to do that. And there we go. Here comes Ponyta. So, let's go with Poseidon right here. Now, all strong and beefy. There we go. And here comes a Buizel. I, I swear to God, what was the idea of me just like, you know, switching out the two most po important Pokemon right here? I don't know. But here comes a Grass Knot. And just like that, we win. So, let's see. Here we have some berries. And we're going to be grabbing these little suckers because we can. And let's go ahead and grab this Chesto Berry. Another Wiki Berry. And grab this guy, too. Now, a lot of these places require Rock Climb. And I think we've already been there. How do we get to that section? Hmm, let's see. Oh, probably another area. So... Let's get the heck out of here. Here we are towards the very end. This is a Celestic Town, and as you guys can tell, it's not that much of a, you know, it's not that big of a place. So what we're going to do, guys, is going to heal up our Pokemon and bring back the original. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back in Celestic Town, and, well, we only brought in Luxray just because, well, there is something afoot, and, uh, yeah, we kind of need that. And, well, hey, do you know what they say? They say that Pokemon created the Sinnoh region, which is true. Now, if you talk to this person, there's an odd spaceman in front of the ruins. There isn't anything there, but that only seemed to make him get angry. He's saying that he's about to blow town up with a bomb. The nerve of it all. If only I was younger, I would punish uh, that spaceman with my Pokemon. I mean, you could still punish him with your Pokemon. I'm just, I'm just stating the facts. I don't even know. Okay, so let's go right ahead and see what this is all about. There's a spaceman right here, and he's like, This town is insignificant. There's nothing to value here. It doesn't need to exist, so I'll blow it up with a galactic bomb. If you try to mess with me, I'll shut you down with the Pokemon battle. So what's it going to be? Are you going to mess with me? Yes, I will. You dare oppose Team Galactic? That means you're taking on you're taking on the world. No, the universe even. Okay, so here we go, taking on Team Galactic member Grunt, and well, we're gonna be speeding through this because well, yeah, we got we got some Pokemon ready and. Well, let's go with a Shockwave yet again, and Poseidon grows to level 39 in this Learning Whirlpool, which, uh, yeah, we kind of don't need this move right now, so give up on that. And we're going to continue on with the Shockwave attacks, and here we go one more time, and Electrostar grows to level 32. He is not loving me. Too much to handle. Can't do anything here. This place is nothing. I'll happily get, I'll be happily rid, uh, happily rid this place. Huh. Okay. And just like that, this individual looks at us and is just like, Oh, you are magnificent. Aren't you quite the trainer? As the elder of Celestic Town, I give you my thanks. Oh, that old charm. May I see it, dear? What's that? You say Cynthia entrusted you with, uh, with it to deliver it to me? That's Cynthia. She's my granddaughter. And, well, we're going to be giving back that old charm. And this old charm is something made in Celestic Town long, long ago. It was made in honor of the mystical de deity said to have created the Sinnoh region. These old charms are still discovered now and again. Since you're in Celestic Town, why not look around inside the ruins? Why? Do okay, so let's go right ahead and see what's inside. As you guys can see, there's really nothing in there except for this. If you read this... 
And it's the mysterious designs covered the whole section of the wall. There are three strange things forming a triangle. In the middle of them, a shining sphere. What is this all about? And Cynthia's grandma is going to be coming around, and she's going to be like, the, cave is pa the cave's painting meaning seems to be this. There's a there existed beings, being so powerful that they were considered deities at the time. There were three Pokemon with power to match the other being. The three kept balance with other being as if they were formed in the pyramid. It's an ancient legend of Sinnoh that is still told in Celestic Town. I would like to know more about the legend, if you will. Who might you be? And would you look at that? Super Saiyan Blue Cyrus is like, My name is Cyrus. I want to put an end on to, to this pointless strife and hostility. I am seeking the power to create the ideal world. Thus, I want you, I want you to answer. The world today can't change because the three, three Pokemon can keep it balanced. Is that what you, what you are saying? I wouldn't know. I do know that the world is in balance. I'm quite satisfied with the world the, the way it is. I'm not interested in your question. Plead ignorance, will you? What a pointless attitude. You fail to, to appreciate the world is incomplete. I will change the world. As the first step, I will destroy this cave painting that you've protected all these years. A new legend of the new world should take this its place. Am I wrong? If you feel that way, challenge me. Sure, let's go right ahead. I know you, trainer. We've met at Mount Cornet. Why would you why would you want to protect this incomplete world? As the boss of Team Galactic, I will show you the error of your ways. Okay. So, let's get it. Let's get it going right here. So here we are taking on Team Galactic boss Cyrus for the first time. And he's gonna be coming out with some pretty cool Pokemon. Sneasel is one of them. And well, let's go right ahead and switch over to Gaia the Fierce Knight. And here comes a screech attack, but here comes a brick break. And just like that, we beat him. And, well, here comes a Golbat. His mistake was that he has two Flying-type Pokemon right here with him. And we're going to go with a Shockwave attack right here. And here we go again. Just like that, we win. And here comes Murkrow. And this guy right here is not joking around because it's a level 36 Murkrow. And that nearly defeats this guy. Here comes a Nightshade. That defeats us. So here comes Toothless. And... Dragon Rage nearly beats this guy. Holy buckets. This guy is not giving up. And wow. Okay, so note to self, Murkrow is pretty good. And there we go. He's like, impressive. Your prowess is notable. Yes, it's very notable and <laughs> remarkable. But Elder, your attitude told me what I needed to know. If the beings of time and space are brought together, they can't be stopped. Such a strange, strange man, spouting such nonsense. The time and space of Sinnoh are filled with memories and thoughts of countless people and Pokemon. This is a wonderful world. What need is there to change it? Oh yes, I found something useful. You should take this. It belonged to my granddaughter, but she doesn't use it anymore. And finally, we got ourselves the HMO03, which is Surf. If a Pokemon learns Surf, it can carry you across the sea. You've been a great help. That's a thanks for it. Okay. Alrighty, so finally, holy buckets, surf like like in Hoenn, it is very very important here. And well, hello there. Mm, 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 mm. Was everything all right here? You saw those strange people with a galactic bomb, didn't you? Yes, I did, baby. But those team galactic people, I thought they were alarmless. The bizarre ways they dress and all their wild claims about making a new universe? I thought it was just a silly talk, uh, nothing for it to take seriously. But they're, surprise they're surprisingly more trouble than expected. Trying to monopolize Pokemon just isn't acceptable. By the way, were the ruins fun to explore? If you're interested, there is a library in Cantalive City. It's stocked with ancient books you can look up in the Sin Sinnoh's history there. It might help you uh, complete your Pokedex too. The quickest way to Canalave City is go west of Jubilife City. Whatever you say, baby. Anywho, uh, let's see. There is an item right there. Now, we're not going to finish just yet, guys. There are quite a few things we need to do. And look at that, Dragon Fang. We need to battle some people and uh, make up a few things and yes we do have the surf technique too so what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna heal up our pokemon and we'll be right back with you guys alrighty guys so here we are back and i just realized something we can use surf now that is a uh, pretty awesome but 
the big story right here is this route one or two eleven there's gonna be quite a few things that you can actually do just battle Pokemon trainers and all that stuff and that's exactly what we came here to do battle everybody everybody that we see here they are done dead finished finito Gattaca yeah anywho uh, let's see First is first. Let's go right ahead and use a repel because we do not want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon. And well, let's go ahead and waste those repels. And well, let's get ahead and grab this. And here we have a Carbos. That's usually a very good thing. And well, let's see. Wow, 20 ep we're below 20 episodes and we're already just making a huge stride right here. So, here we are taking on another trainer. We're going to be flying, we're going to be doing our thing. And why would we miss? And there we go. There it is. And getting a little experience points. We're going to let Togepi take uh, care of this whole situation. Now, many of you guys already know that Togepi and uh, Rosemon need to evolve via, I believe, a Dawnstone. I got that covered, guys. Trust me. Thankfully, we got ourselves... We got ourselves a... Uh, what was it called? Uh... Well, we got ourselves, uh, whatchamacallit, I can't remember what it was called, uh, oh yeah, we got ourselves the serve technique, so that's actually going to help us out a, a, a whole bunch right there. And, uh, well, let's see, what we need to do here is we don't have strength, but we're going to be battling everybody because we kind of need to, we, we want to. And, uh, let's see, what else can we do? Look at that, okay, so Krogonk is coming out, we're not going to be doing that, we're going to be doing this whole thing and thankfully it or yeah our attack has gone up tenfold right there so uh let's see what was i trying to say oh yeah move this guy out of the way and he has made the mistake because i got fire blast yes sir and here comes poseidon at level 40 so let's continue on right here now i'm gonna be checking out my old pokemon platinum walk here now style changes guys you guys gotta love it because well Back in the day, it would have been, uh, what? It would have taken me, like, maybe 50 episodes to get here. Literally 50 episodes. Probably because that's how I thought that Pokemon Walker should have been done. But, thankfully, you know, we 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 kind of fixed our the error of our ways. So, yes, we're kind of changing that up right here. Now that we're, like, what, in episode 17. Episode 17, and... Yeah, wow. We might be finished with this walkthrough in like before 50 episodes. I want to say so, but I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. So let's go right ahead and take on a Noctowl. Stealth Rock right here. Don't know why I did that. Let's go ahead and slash attack. And that was a dig. Holy crud baskets. Okay, so you know what? This Pokemon's going to beat us to the ground. So let's go with Electro Star. And that taken down attack. Not going to work. And there we go. Confusion. There it is. And that's how you win a match. Alrighty. Okay, so let's see. I think this individual down here will not battle you. I am strong, I am strong, I am strong, I am strong. And well, he's gonna be saying I am strong. Am I really? No, I am strong. And okay, then good to go. And he's looking at me, he's like, ah, oh, you started to be good. Think you understand what I was going through? I take this TM and here we get ourselves the TM 77. This move is what? Uh, let's say your opponent raises its defense using Harden. Your Pokemon can use Psych Up to get the same defensive boost as your opponent. Okay, so that makes a lot of sense because back then I didn't know what I didn't know what it was all about. So the final part right here in our little adventure is going into Mount Cornet. As you guys can see, we do need we do need the strength technique, and we don't have it just yet. But we can grab some Pokeballs right here, like the escape rope. And let's see, what else can we grab? Oh, that's pretty much it. We can't do anything else. It it is pretty much covered up. So in the next episode, guys, we're gonna be going through some spots using surf, and then we're gonna get into Candlelave City. That way we can uh you know that way we can feel good about ourselves about grabbing these hidden items with surf. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always and supportive. I do have, yes, a merch store down there. So if you guys want to support the channel, GLD and all that stuff, just buy something right there. And if you guys have any suggestions for any other merch, comment down below and we'll make it happen. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.